Hey everybody, this is Paul. I just uh, wanted to show a real quick video on how I was able to add some weight to Intermountain's flat cars. It's a little bit challenging, but uh, I could didn't see any out on the on uh, YouTube, so I thought I'd show you how I did it. The first car I'm going to show you, I kind of uh, rushed through and didn't quite get it right. This is a um, Santa Fe. Intermountain car, uh, specifically the 60 foot wood deck. And uh, of course, I was trying to go for something that you couldn't really see much on the outside of the car. However, with this car, with the way it's constructed, there's not a lot of space. I mean, you can see what I've done here. Uh, I've actually removed a few braces here and there um, but if you look closely you can see I didn't quite trim the weights down uh, with some of the larger weights I put in causing that that side piece to bow a little bit and going forward I probably would use these smaller ones just because they seem to fit a little bit better but uh, you can still see what I've done here and in the next car I'll show you what a little bit nicer job looks like with uh, with the weights actually having been painted. This is probably one of my favorite flat cars that I own. 60 foot Intermountain uh, Southern Railway metal wheels, kitty couplers and on, specifically on this one I used strictly the larger weights and you can definitely tell that I removed some of the cross support pieces but of course I sized the weights a little bit better so from what I can tell I don't, I don't see much distortion on the sides of the car but having painted them they're just about unnoticeable um, even if you're looking at the car from from the uh, underneath the car you still don't really notice it too much as as something being out of place but just wanted to show this as an idea for folks because it's it's a, it takes a little time, but uh, once you get it right and you're happy with the weights, they certainly do uh, track better because they are feather weights right out of the box. All right, thanks. See ya.